Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to create an S3 bucket, a website bucket with Pulumi and Java. So let's do this and um, I would like to start with a folder and call it S3 website. And the folder is going to be used as a Pulumi project. So let's create a new project within the folder, of course, with Java. And the project name is okay, description is also fine, uh, stack also okay. What's not okay is the region and I would like to deploy to Frankfurt. So now the region is set, open the project with an IDE and take a look what happened. So the general configuration is here. We have the region configured in Pulumi Dev YAML and what we also have is a bit of source code. So the code is fine, it would work, but what I would like to do is I would like to be a little bit more ambitious and use the v2 version of the bucket. And um, so let's create the entire thing. So first import v2. Then uh, what I would like to do is to use here the bucket. So just the logical name, similar to CDK. So um, I have to use builders to provide additional information. And what I would like to do is to use a nicer bucket name and maybe Pulumi Duke will work. It has to be unique. So let's hope it is unique. So, and what I also like to do is maybe say force destroy true. So it is nicer after the screencast because I can just destroy the stack and everything is going to be cleaned up and the uh, S3 bucket is going to be removed. So we have this. And uh, so that's basically it. So our bucket is going to be created, but as promised, I would like to proceed with the website. So um, bucket uh, website configuration v2, new. Lo first argument is the logical name. Let's call it configuration. The second one are the arguments, and this is website configuration v2 and um, v2 arcs and then builder again and then let's see what we get so we get now the bucket most important thing bucket dot get id and we need a reference to the bucket um, then uh, index a document index document and this is bucket website configuration index document arts arcs a little bit chatty index uh, this is the prefix i think no suffix not prefix suffix and the suffix is going to be index html so this is like the default document which is going to be served okay so we have the suffix and then we can say build okay now we can build the entire thing and we get here the configuration so and this is almost done uh, almost uh, what I also need is the um, object but let's take a look uh, we have here the packet configuration index document and I think I think this is going to work Okay, now um, what I would like to do is to 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 ship a document, and with that um, we need an index HTML. This is the actual document. So uh, let's create some content, and um, h1 is just fine, and this is hello Pulumi with Java. Okay, this that's all. What we need to do is we need to ship it. So how to do that? This is um, fairly simple. So let's format this. So I need um, the bucket object v2, of course. <laughs> New, let's call it object. And of course, the second parameter are the, arc, uh, are the um, arcs bucket object v2 v2 arcs builder of course 
and now we need some additional information. So ACL, and I think the ACL was public read is one. Let's see, ACL, and there is a public read. This is true, so let's go with that. Public read. Okay, we have it. Then uh, bucket again. So we have to pass the reference to the bucket, get ID, and what else? Um, we need to provide a key, and this is the name of the file, and I think this is all we need. So we have the bucket, we, uh, oh, uh, content type is useful content type is optional but useful so it can be viewed directly from the browser and I think this is enough so let's uh, build this and call it object okay now the export is what we will see in the CLI so what I would like to do is I would like to use from the configuration, the endpoint. This is the URI. Okay. And by the way, we could even make it a bit nicer by apply a value and say this is the uh, this is the URI, and I would like to prepend curl before the URI. Okay, now with a little bit of luck, should work, pull me up. Let's see what happens. So the Maven project is built and then it's going to be uploaded and of course it doesn't work. Why not? Uh, let's see. And it says, ah, the problem is the output is not unique. So what I need to do is to have here, let's call it um, bucket. I'll just call it CLI. CLI. Okay. Try it again. So now it looks better. And yes, I would like to create the bucket. And then see what happens. Okay, this is our command. So let's see. So it worked, but we forgot something and I forgot to add the actual website. So um, I have to say I would like to add the file asset and my asset is index.html. Okay, let's see, pull me up. Yes, do it. And looks way better. So let's see. So we could just do it again with minus i. And we see that the content type is set to text HTML. So, and uh, what we can do right now, we can say pulumi destroy minus epsilon and uh, minus y. And it will say, okay, everything is gone. Our website is deleted and the S3 uh, bucket is also deleted because we set up here force destroy true. So thank you for watching. Enjoy Pulumi and Java. And uh, what you can do in real world projects, you can create your own classes and plug the modules together. So this was just hello world Pulumi. So, um, Thank you for watching. See you at upcoming conferences, Ehex Live, uh, or even projects. So, thank you and bye.